Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing my April Hope and Achieve flip through. Before I get into that, I'm back with the bangs. I added more layers. I <laughs> impulsively cut my hair yesterday. It was a Taurus new moon, so I felt like it. <laughs> And secondly, I haven't showed you guys how thick my Hobonichi is. Look at all those tabs. This is what I like to see. It's like a sandwich. <laughs> all right, enough of the silliness. Let's get into it. All right, so here is the first page for April. Got a selfie here. I took some construction paper and I don't know, I just cut some random shape out of it. And then I put some flower stickers, a rainbow, and a plant that says, I'm growing. All right, and here is my first spread. For the 1st of April, I found a quote from Pinterest. It says, old energy is clearing, new energy is entering, and great things are coming. I bought this paint for a commission and I've had it for a while. Yeah, this paint is a little hard to work with. It gets a little watered down, so you can see the little streaks here and there, but I love how shimmery it is. And then around it, I added some flower stickers. There's one of a bird with a flower and then two butterflies. And on this day, I went to Sea Hive Station with my sister Maddie and Charlie and I bought a few things. So I already showed you guys this mug. This mug, it says back on my bullshit and it has a really cute vintage goose with a cute hat. And I love this mug so much. I use it every morning when I have coffee and then this one, let me show you. It's really small in this photo. So the second thing I bought is this ring. It's from one of my favorite vendors from Sea Hive. I forgot what the business is called, but I love all her cat accessories. It's a shape as a cat and it has black beads on it. I really love it. But yeah, I'll just wear it throughout the whole video. <laughs> Um, and then lastly, I bought a Denik notebook. I use this notebook for my morning pages. That's what I got from Sea Hive Station. And I think throughout this month, Maddie gave me a bunch of cute flowers from her school. This is, oh, it's really dry. I love it. It's really cute, I love the colors. And like I said in the last Hope and Achieve flip through, I use wax paper to cover it, protect it. And on this day, I went to H Mart and for lunch, I had the Korean hot dog. This is my first time trying it. My sister and Maddie talked about how good it was. And so when I went to H Mart, I saw they had it at the food court and I ended up getting the potato sausage with cheddar cheese and then honey butter. Yeah, the hot dog was good. I will say though, it was a lot of potato. I got full halfway through. <laughs> um, I was debating on whether I should get this one or the mozzarella one. I think next time I will try the mozzarella because I felt like I needed more cheese. <laughs> so yeah, first time I really liked it. It's definitely filling. Um, I would probably give this a four out of five. On the fifth, it was the Libra full moon and the affirmations that I wrote where I invite balance into all areas of my life. I am abundant in the amount of people that I have in my life who love me and whom I love in return. Everything I desire desires me more. I am in control of my thoughts, my actions, and my emotions, and I let go of any attachments that are holding me back. And Libra is all about the scales, so balance, 
Libra is ruled by Venus, so peace and love. And then, I don't know, I think of like beautiful pink flowers when I think of Libra. On this day, I wrote the law of least effort. So if you guys are into meditation, mindfulness like me, then you know who Deepak Chopra is. Um, I read his book, The Seven Spiritual Laws to Success or something like that. Um, I don't know if that's word for word, <laughs> but I will leave the title and the book cover here. So I actually read this book a few years ago, but I didn't fully retain the information, so I thought I would reread it. It's a fairly easy read, not very long, but I really wanted to practice this one in particular, the law of least effort. So for the law of least effort, one, accept people, circumstances, and events as they are in this moment. When confronted with any challenge, remind yourself, this moment is as it should be because the entire universe is as it should be. And two, take responsibility for your situation without blaming anything or anyone, including yourself. Every problem is an opportunity to take this moment and transform it into a greater benefit. And lastly, relinquish the need to defend your point of view. In defenselessness, you remain open to all points of view, not rigidly attached to one of them. So I like all seven spiritual laws, but I really wanted to focus on this one. Honestly, like, it just brings so much peace to my life. You know, I find that I always want things a certain way and I want people to show up for me a certain way. I shouldn't control them. I should just let them be who they want to be. I really don't want to waste my energy on people and try to change them if they don't want to change. So now I'm like, okay, show me who you really are. If I don't like it, then it's my responsibility to just leave. If you are being negative towards me, I'm not gonna try to change your mind. Tr not trying to change your ways of thinking into like my way of thinking. I'm not even gonna do any of that anymore because it used to drain my energy. So whenever I find myself trying to control a situation or other people, I take a step back and I'm like, no. Let them show me who they really are. And if it doesn't align with who I am and where I am in my life, then I'm just not gonna <laughs> entertain the idea of like trying to keep myself in this friendship or relationship. It's like, no, I don't even wanna deal with that. Like, I just want to be in peace. You know what I mean? understand you can't control other people you can't control certain things so just let things be see it for what it is and if it doesn't align with your values or who you are as a person then it's your responsibility to move on let go anyway i just wanted to share that <laughs> oh i really like this page it's very simple but i took some photos from Pinterest, use them as reference. I did continuous line drawings. Okay, here's the thing. I don't think I mentioned this, but I have been a little lazy <laughs> with filling each page every single day. I will skip maybe one or two days, maybe three max. And then I will spend one day catching up on my pages. That's why you see on, the seventh and eighth, it's like I just drew in one day because I did. <laughs> so yeah, I picked a few fashion photos of these girls. I'm sure I mentioned this before, but I love continuous line drawings. I use this technique when I'm urban sketching just to get a quick sketch down and it makes the process a lot faster. Um, but I really love this and I love that it's not perfect. And I have been using my highlighters. I think I started using it on this spread and then you'll see later that I started using my highlighters more. But I love these highlighters because they have a muted tone to it. And so for this spread I wrote, it is all a part of the process. I don't think it really connects with <laughs> 
the image, but I just wanted to write that down. So this day was Easter Sunday. I didn't do anything on Easter. I just wrote Happy Easter. I put a few stickers. And then I used my watercolor. I used some of these cute pastel shades. I painted a rabbit and then three eggs. And then I just used my Micron pen to draw over it. <laughs> this one is so random. I didn't know what to do this on this day. So I just looked on Pinterest and found a reference and I drew some toast. <laughs> I thought it was just really silly because they drew faces on it. And then I put a sticker that says snack time. The weather is getting warmer, so I decided to do a little bit of work out in the backyard. I loved every second. So I took a photo of me in the backyard working on my exhibition pieces. If you guys didn't know, I participated in my first group art exhibition. I made a whole video of the process from beginning to end. So I will leave a link in the cards for you if you're interested in seeing that. Um, yeah. A really fun experience. On this day I wrote, today I'm grateful for my U-shaped pillow, all of these creative ideas that come to me, various self-soothing techniques, my ability to type fast, and then mindfulness and oranges. I probably had an orange that day. <laughs> and here is another page of flowers that Maddie gave me. This one is falling apart. Ugh, I'll just throw this away. Super cute. I needed a change in an environment, so I worked on my exhibition pieces at Garden Coffee. I was drawing for almost two hours. I felt so accomplished. I stopped by Honest Thrift and bought this new jade plant shaped as a heart. It's so cute. I haven't even named this plant. I haven't been naming my plants in a while. <laughs> you guys didn't know when the pandemic hit, I was like so obsessed with buying plants and naming them. But I think over the past year or two, I stopped naming my plants. <laughs> Cause I don't know, it's just been kind of hard to think of names. This one's in the backyard. So on this day, I just printed out a photo from Pinterest. It says, you are allowed to change the price of what it costs to access you. And then I have some stickers that says, trust yourself, protect your happiness and do what feels right. And on this day, Charlie drew a cute note for me. He said this was me and then a flower. <laughs> and he wrote, I love you. So cute. Quick hydration break. <laughs> I feel like I always have something different for each video wasn't intentional, but today I'm drinking water with cucumber and lemon. So healthy, right? <laughs> today I finished my exhibition pieces. Woohoo! I ordered art prints of my exhibition pieces, bought a new bullet journal, ended the night with Minkai and episode nine of business proposal. So for this page, I used my gouache paints for the background. And then I wrote these lyrics from this TikTok creator. This particular song is very short. It's like a mantra, but every time I'm feeling anxious, I sing it to myself or I listen to it on repeat and it just makes me feel more calm and at ease and more grounded. But let me sing it for you guys really quick. So it goes. Puff out your chest, take a deep breath, you're gonna be okay. Is it loud in your mind? Just take your time, you're gonna be okay. So yeah, <laughs> it's a really short song, but um, I really love it. I'll like have it on repeat until I feel <sighs> cool, calm, and collected. So on the 19th was the new moon, solar eclipse, and Aries. This one was chaotic. <laughs> If you guys know anything about astrology and the eclipse season, y'all, like, I have no words. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the affirmations that I wrote were, tonight my soul will make room for all that is to come. I let go of what is blocking me. 
I release all negativity lingering within me and make room for all that is good. Tonight I invite abundance into my life. And so I put some stickers that say reflection, make space, keep moving, keep moving. So I noticed that in April, I was doing a lot of experimenting for my pages. Like for this one, I just randomly thought of taking a tea bag and drawing on it. Something that I normally wouldn't do, but here we are. <laughs> I think cause I was having tea that day. And so I was like, ooh, that'd be a little like, oh wait, I totally forgot. <laughs> I wrote something here too. I forgot what I wrote. Oh wait, okay, <laughs> sorry. It's been a while since I looked at these pages, so I kind of forgot what I did. But yeah, so the background, I used washi tape, put some stickers, and then I drew a hand on the tea bag. So usually when I have random thoughts come to me, I will just jot them down on my notes app on my phone. I think I wrote this last year. So I wrote, I don't want to rush through life. I want to savor each moment I have on this earth with the people I love, doing the things I love and experiencing new things. As much as I like to get to the good parts, the moments leading up to it makes the story so meaningful and worth it. I am grateful for the stillness, the feelings and connections. I want to live my life the way that feels right to me. So yeah, I think it's cute having little hidden pockets here. So there's that. And it says, take a moment to make a moment. On this day, I drew my breakfast. I actually painted it on my watercolor paper and I cut it to size. So today's breakfast, egg salad, avocado, truffle seasoning, and toasted bread. I added the wax paper because since I used my graphite, it started to smudge on the opposite page. And on this page, I found a reference photo of this girl taking a picture with a camera, but instead of drawing the camera, I took my sticker of a camera and I drew the hand separately and then I glued it on top of the sticker. So it's pretty interesting. A couple of days ago, I decided to practice crocheting. I've been wanting to make a case for my Kindle and this is probably my fifth attempt, LOL. I have a huge bundle of yarn, so I'm open to making mistakes and improving. And then I put the stickers, take your time and progress. So I gave up. <laughs> I gave up. Oh, let me show you what I use instead for my Kindle. So, uh, let me just say, I'm really bad at making it straight. <laughs> like the actual pattern is easy, but I notice that the edges when I'm crocheting, it starts to like increase. I think the thing is like, I don't like counting because I end up miscounting and I forget to count. So it's like, I just, you know, eye it. So yeah, I gave up on that, <laughs> but I remembered that I bought this cute pouch from Daiso. I'm pretty sure I showed it in one of my videos. I think it's the Star's Diary episode. It says tulip on it and it has two pockets and it just fits so well with my Kindle. Like, how perfect is that? So I wish I had done that earlier before my screen got scratched. It got scratched on my purse one day and I'm like, oh my God. It doesn't bother me too much when I'm reading, but I, I feel like I wanna upgrade soon. I think this is like the seventh generation. So I think it was the 2018 model. I didn't realize I bought this so long ago. Cute. And I've been reading a lot lately too. So I've been bringing this along with me in my purse. I'm a Kindle girl, so there's that. <laughs> All right, I think this is the first page where I started taking 
scraps from magazines. This is from a magazine I had like a few years ago and I saved it. So I ripped part of it. I put some craft paper on the other side and this is a paint strip. What do you call those? Like color palette strips from Home Depot. But yeah, I cut part of it and then I put a quote here that says be patient with yourself nothing in nature blooms all year today I'm grateful for quiet mornings crumble cookies for satisfying my period cravings and then I put stickers so today I'm grateful for sleep me time meditation snack time and shrimp on this page, I put a quote that says, so plant your own gardens and decorate your own soul instead of waiting for someone to bring you flowers by George Louise Borges. I think that's how you pronounce it. But yeah, I put a bunch of flower stickers and one with the dog, it's so cute. My Ficus Elastica Tanicki dropped a ton of leaves a few years ago and the bottom half has been bare. I was surprised to see new leaves sprouting at the bottom. What a surprise. I'll probably insert a photo of what it looks like, but it just looked ugly. <laughs> and so recently I found that like it was growing leaves at the bottom of the stem. And so I'm just so happy. On this day, Maddie and I went to get boba and I got the avocado stormy with egg pudding, which is delicious. It honestly tastes like Captain Crunch cereal. <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's just me. So this isn't my hand. I actually found a photo on Pinterest because I finished <laughs> my avocado stormy before I drew it. So to write this, I use my highlighters again. I really like how it looks. Finally, we are at the last spread of the month. And this page, I actually did my first urban sketch in a while. So I wrote, dad brought these cute birdhouses a few weeks ago. I'm hoping to see a bird lay a nest in one. So yeah, I was sitting in the backyard. I was home alone. Um, I was just out in the backyard with our family dog, Louie, and it was such a beautiful sunny day. So I went out there to sunbathe and read a book. And then later on I was like, why don't I just do a little bit of ur urban sketching to get me back into it? Cause it's been a while. And I sat there on one of the lounge chairs and it was so peaceful, like hearing all the birds chirp and the leaves rustling, like I was so at peace. And I just remembered, I was like, man, I need to continue doing Urban Sketch because I forgot how happy I get each time I go out and draw on location. But yeah, I'm hoping to do more urban sketch videos in the future. I'm just waiting until Maddie goes on vacation because I've been asking her to like film for me. But yeah, so the last day, as always, I write down my highlights for the month. So for my April highlights, I wrote, went thrifting and found a couple of cute pieces, an oversized t-shirt for lounging and a collared casual dress going to H Mart and finding a lot of yummy snacks and food, completing my exhibition pieces before the deadline, watched business proposal, it was good and way funnier than I thought, and my ficus elastica teneki sprouting new bottom leaves. All right, so that was my Hope and flip through for the month of April. I hope you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed sitting here sharing it with you guys. If you haven't seen my previous Hobonichi flip throughs, definitely check them out on my channel. And yeah, let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.